Hello, my fellow patriots. This is Alex with Disabled Vets Perspective. I'm getting ready to roll out and go take care of some business, but I couldn't leave this without being said. Plus, it'll load a lot faster when I get out of the property. Um, hope everyone can hear me okay because I don't know what the volume's like when I'm in motion. But um, I just got done listening to the president's farewell speech, and I figured now's probably the most important time to tell you what I got out of it. The first thing that I got out of it was there was no concession again. That wasn't done. So anybody who says the president conceded, he gave up, all this, is, they're just not paying attention. Um, anyway, so what I saw was the first thing I couldn't help but notice was the ratty old flags behind him. And I'm not talking about the American flags. I'm talking about the corporate flags with all their gold fringe around them, you know, being captive and surrounded by the British monarchy. Did you notice those flags? When's the last time you saw a president speak in the Oval Office without perfectly pressed shaped flags that, you know, carry a message of, you know, America? Well, those flags looked to me like they were wrinkled and distressed and kind of just thrown back there well when i mentioned that the uh, we're getting ready to close this corporation we're going to a back to a constitutional republic that's what i was talking about the constitution is coming back the corporation is dissolving that official dissolving of that corporation actually happens at the moment they decide to not inaugurate a president and we will see what happens tomorrow but if you don't have a president in the corporation the corporation that's the final step to dissolve the corporation so um, that's where we are right now um, the other thing I wanted to mention in the in the speech at the Capitol I was really bothered by the president referring to our democracy and today in the speech he was referring to our republic we are a republic of citizens and all this other he wasn't using the democracy because the democracies like like i said are illegal they shouldn't exist within a republic and part of this step towards the going back to the original constitution is dissolving the party system and any illegal entity within the government of the United States that represents the corporation. All of that has to be dissolved. Now, tomorrow, they're talking about a, uh, according to what I've read, a, a person that works at a television station said that they were visited by the FCC and two members wearing badges. And they were told to clear their airwaves from 0800 hours, 8 a.m. tomorrow, for 72 hours. So, remember that there is no president-elect that transfers into the new position until noon on the 20th of January. So, at 0800 hours the television company is being told to clear their viewing schedule <coughs> it kind of tells me that instead of an inauguration we might be watching something entirely different now some of these media corporations are going to show the the illusion of biden but the ones that aren't involved in this uh you know this coup the ones that aren't involved in that are going to follow the law and they're going to show what is necessary according to the FCC. So, uh, anyway, it's it's not over yet. They're kind of waiting until the last damn second, which I find frustrating. But here's a little tidbit. One indication that things are getting ready to start, and that's just here in my area in Florida, the last two nights that we've been up... We have watched at right at the stroke of midnight, our television, all of our channels go out. 
We get nothing. We only have an antenna. I don't do the cable shit because I don't need them. I don't need to pay for them propagandizing me. So we have an antenna, and every night at midnight, the last two nights now, my TV, all the programming has stopped. So maybe these are tests to see how well they can turn on and turn off the system. I don't know. It's just something to think about. But I know also I'm going to be getting bitched at in my comments about you shouldn't be driving while you're doing a video. But if you notice, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. So this is a recording anyway. So if I had a nasty accident and I died, at least it wouldn't be live. You could watch it at your leisure. So um, anyway, some things when we're this close to the wire just don't need to be waited on we need to get the information out as quickly as we see it because a lot of people are going to feel defeated right now and i am trying to tell you don't feel defeated yet try to understand how corporate america works and how you dissolve a corporation how you uh reinstate a, an entire nation it's not something that can be done with a snap of a finger certain things have to be put into place so also you might find it interesting that a, uh, <clears throat> a 44 foot um, prison bus pulled up in front of the Capitol and I don't know about you but I don't think I remember seeing large capacity prison buses being pulled up in front of the Capitol building in any other inauguration. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But just something to think about. It's just one of those things that make you go, hmm, weird. So anyhow, that is really it. Uh, I am going to have to pull over and give this video a title. Otherwise, it won't let me uh, upload it. But pull over here in a minute I'm gonna title the video and I'm gonna hit upload and it'll be up in a couple of minutes but uh, you guys you got to keep your chin up you got to keep paying attention to what's going on look at the little things like the old wrinkled balled up kind of flags that were hanging behind the president on the farewell speech those are corporate flags with that gold fringe crap so those flags mean nothing to me I understand what they are. I'm not going to... i got to close that for a minute. I'm not going to declare my allegiance to the Queen, and I'm not going to recognize an orange fringe flag or gold fringe. I, I only recognize the American flag. That's the only one that I hang. So, uh, anyway, that's what I got. If you guys like what I have to say, make sure you tell your friends about me. Give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, we'll do a live feed and we'll see when we get on there but go to my uh, description section and look up all of the alternative channels that I have and uh, make sure you don't lose me if the YouTubes New take me out message from plus one, eight, uh, three, three. anyway y'all stay in the fight